everybody, welcome to wificastle.com. I'm Jeff. We're going to go over basic security settings for a Linksys wireless router. This interface should be the same for all the new Linksys routers, and even if you have an older router, you'll be able to get the idea of where to go in your router interface to change these settings. Three things you need to do when you get a new router. You need to change the administrator password, you need to set some data encryption, and you'll have to change the SSID or the broadcast name of your router. The first thing that we'll do is change the administrator password. This will stop anybody from just logging into the router since pretty much everyone knows the default passwords. So to change the administrator password, go up top here to administration. And the first screen that you'll see, modem router access, here we are. This is where you change the password. For the username, put in the username that you use to get to the interface to begin with. So I think with Linksys it's either admin or Linksys. I'll just choose admin here, but put in the username that you used here. Change the password, and then you'll have to confirm it here. Put in the same password, obviously. Make sure it's at least eight characters. Use capital letters, small letters, numbers. Make it you know tough to get in. So once you've done that, you hit save. Most likely the router will reboot and then you'll log into the same interface with the new password. So once you get in with the new password, most likely you're going to end up with the same screen. And now you're going to have to change the wireless security. Go to the wireless tab, click it, and that brings up the basic wireless settings. Now, Linksys can do a couple things here. You can do it manually or you can use the Wi-Fi protected setup. I'm sure you see the button on the router. If you set it up with the Wi-Fi protected setup button, the router will do all of this itself. And so in this scenario, what's happened is the router has gone ahead and set up these parameters on the lower part of the screen. Wi-Fi protected setup status is configured. The network name is 888. The security level is WPA2 mixed, and you don't have to know what that means. That just means that your data is encrypted as it's traveling through the air from your laptop or workstation to the wireless router. And then the passphrase is this. The passphrase is set by this encryption level, so it you have to log in to the router. Now you only have to do that one time. Once you configure the network, you put in the passphrase, your wireless network card can go ahead and connect, and then you're good to go. If we want to do this manually, if you don't like this SSID, or if you want to change the security here, and if you definitely want to change the passphrase to something else, then you would click manual up top. So we'll click manual, and we're, we're going to go on the premise that the WPA2 encryption that we just saw the screen before is still happening. So for the network name, you can change this now to whatever you want. Just some unique name. Yes, I know that's very clever. You can leave the channel bandwidth and everything else alone for now. That's more advanced settings that we'll go over in a different video. And they're leaving the SSID broadcast and enable what broadcast means is that your network can be seen by anybody who is in range. Now, can they log in or not? That's based on the passphrase. So when we hit save settings here, you'll have to connect to the network now with this unique name, but you'll be able to because your wireless network card will see this name because it's being broadcast. So you'll just simply click the name of the network and hit connect, and you'll be able to connect. Now. To change the security level, once you log back into the router, it's still in the wireless tab and then wireless security. And now here's the security mode. Now they picked WPA2 mixed here because this is this will cover older network cards. If you have a newer network card and you want to change the encryption to WPA2 personal, then you can do it here. Enterprise probably won't apply 
to small offices or home offices uh, because to use this you need another piece of equipment and another server to do authentication. So you really your only choices here are personal or mixed. Mixed covers more network cards and that's really all you need to know. If you have a newer network card this will work and it's a higher level of encryption. So once you change this then you pick your key and your key should be something that you can remember but that isn't easily hackable. That's why Cisco had this in here. You can pick up anything you want, it doesn't make any difference, it's just that you want to make it so it's not easily picked up. So uh, you don't want to use this and you don't want to use my router because those are all things that hackers can guess at to try to get to your network. So choose something a little bit more unique and then hit save settings and once you've done that you'll have to put in the pre-shared key to connect to the network and now you've just set the security and that wasn't that bad I don't think for more information, go to wificastle.com.